Hello guys, welcome to my YouTube channel. Let's quickly see. It's my first time uh, doing an XRP video. So eventually if this, I get a good response, I'll keep making these kind of videos, okay, for XRP, okay? Now look, if you look at this monthly time frame for XRP, you wanna look at this. Let's take a look at the weekly first actually. So, so we know that XRP has been going in this manner, okay? And it's a, basically a downwards movement that it's been generating, okay? Now, if you see where is it getting this support from, because we have had bounces from these areas quite a few times now, okay? So if you take this line, okay? And you just bring it right over here. This is where the support it's getting from, okay? Look at this. Okay, the reason I say that right over here, you have support, whoops, support, support. I mean, resistance, resistance, support. Now, again, you're getting support from this level, okay? Now, if you want to confirm this support level, you could always go to the monthly time frame and take a look at the monthly, okay? You can see that in the monthly, you could drag it a little bit above but in the weekly it's right over there okay but monthly is right over there okay and you can see the price has gone above this line okay but i'm gonna just uh let's just go with the monthly at the moment okay and i'll show you something that i think is uh kind of uh impressive i guess okay if you look at this okay the xrp pattern that it made right over here okay and you can see that this was kind of like a falling wedge, okay? And the falling wedge broke out to the upside, okay? Once it broke out, the target is always at the top of the wedge, okay? Normally, it should have been over here, but we can, uh, you know, make a case that this was the starting point of the wedge, okay? And you can see the price came right over there and got some resistance. And then we have a, uh, obviously, people who were holding, all this time they sold it right over there and then we had this big dump and then a pump again okay so you can see if you bring out the emas then you see that we do have this big pump that came in okay now after it went up and broke this resistance this very solid resistance resistance that it had because from 2017 you know that it had this huge pump okay now it went up in this manner look at this let's go in the weekly time frame and you can see let's hide the emas actually you can see we were in this pattern okay and recently we came out of it okay but overall, this is what XRP was doing, okay, within this pattern. But you could see it was slowly trying to divert towards the right side, okay, like a curve formation, okay. But after it did all that, it is finding this support level right over here at this line. This is a very important support level. Let me just put it this way, okay, because you can see it had this kind of like a inverse head and shoulder pad and then it broke to the top side and then it had a technical target it reached to the technical target and then a sell-off happened okay so now then it created a higher low kind of structure and it has been creating that more often you could just bring this resistance line and just place it over here okay now you can see that what kind of pattern you are seeing you're seeing a descending triangle formation look at this where it's having a hard time break this resistance once you break this resistance you have just flipped the um, you know the pattern into a bullish pattern actually because if you break towards this you have broken this resistance this resistance and then you're just coming out of it that doesn't mean you wouldn't face resistance when you come here okay you will face resistance because it will once you break this it will come and tackle this area from here and then once it breaks this you will come and tackle this area over here okay so chances are if you do that then you can see what's happening now okay look at this if you break this resistance you come up come down you have this support level here from this trend line and this area and you're going to be making an inverse head and shoulder pattern okay and then the inverse head and shoulder pattern is towards the upside 
And whenever the breakout happens, you can see we can go all the way up to $2.93. Now, again, Bitcoin has to move up. And the case that, uh, you know, the SEC Commission case that we are battling with the uh, SEC, that if that gets resolved, you will see fireworks coming for XRP. No, no doubt about that, right? Now, <clears throat> overall, uh, XRP is in this pattern okay so just keep an eye on this support line and if you take your fibonacci and you just measure this move okay let's measure this move because you will see a little bit of a better indication with the price action now you can see the price has fallen to the golden ratio now okay 0 0.618 okay for the weekly time frame and now it is finding some support levels right over here, okay? You can see it came up when a little bit above this high and then came back in, found some support at the 0 0.7, uh, 786 level, but failed to hold it. Then it came down. Uh, no doubt that Bitcoin took a pullback, so it dragged a lot of altcoins with it, okay? So it's coming down. It's holding at 0 0.618, also this support level. So very crucial level this is for xrp okay now if it does break the support level breaks the 0 0.618 your next support level is right over here i'm not saying it's going to break it but just to be uh, you know just uh, we have a homework done okay so 0 0.39 is your next support level and if you go to the monthly time frame you can see why okay because we have this low over here we have this used to be support resistance a lot of price action went in this area so this is your next support level okay now if we take a bounce from here obviously you're going to come and hit the resistance look at this it's sitting right at 0 0.786 so like i told you in the weekly time frame if we do come up like that Look at that, it's hitting exactly at this resistance line. So not only we have to break this resistance, we also have to tackle the 0 0.786 level, which is at this resistance line. So this uh, pattern is making complete sense because even the Fibonacci is uh, agreeing with all the drawings that I just made, okay? So, uh, I mean, it's still uh, holding the support. It hasn't broken it, so that's bullish in a way. And if it does break it, this is your level. If it breaks this resistance, okay, then expect XRP to come all the way to $1.28 uh, level. It, it will also, uh, look, I'll show you one more thing. If it's gonna hold this, looks like it is trying to hold it because Bitcoin is going up right now. So you can also look at this pattern, play out like that. Look at this beautiful pattern it's making, okay? A W pattern that it's gonna make, okay? This is a W pattern, okay? So if you break this line right over here, then that can confirm it, okay? The W pattern is valid. So this is it. a lot of bullish patterns can be made if we just have this line broken, the 0 0.786 level broken, a lot of bullish patterns will come into play and that's gonna be your signal, okay? But this is how XRP runs, okay? When it, if it's going up, look at this, these kind of patterns, okay? So expect something like a V shape or something uh, similar, okay? But this is it for XRP. If you like this kind of content, guys, like my video, subscribe to my channel and comment below if you have any questions and uh, just like my video so I know that uh, you guys are liking this XRP content, okay? Thank you so much. Have a good day.